At Leduc Emergency Services, paramedic firefighter Daniel Sundahl is a veteran first responder. One week riding ambulances, fire trucks the next. He sometimes experiences devastating human tragedy and like many of his colleagues, faces the reality of post-traumatic stress disorder. At home, Daniel pursues electronic painting, partly as recreational, largely because his images are so compelling. Once I started posting those images, it's really gone viral worldwide. And while he enjoys traditional brush technique, he excels at mixed medium digital image manipulation and the attention his work brings to first responder issues. So I really wanted to bring awareness to that. So I wanted to start doing some pictures um, showing the public of some of the situations that first responders, not only firefighters, uh, but paramedics and EMS and, and other military that they go through, but in a very, not a gratuitous way, but in a realistic way. So this is a Sti uh, simulating a cardiac arrest, a traumatic cardiac arrest. Um, with CPR, you can see the monitor uh, with the CPR, but I also wanted to add the ghost on the top. His works begin with high-end digital photographs. And then from there, I'll add other programs uh, like Lightroom, lots of Topaz Labs programs, uh, Nick software. Uh, and then if I'm gonna do some painting, I'll actually use that image and paint digitally with Corel Painter. This cursor, I can manipulate the size of my brush, but if I really want to get detailed, I can really get specific, even down to the pixel level. Here's my histogram, which is telling me where my colors are and where the light parts are and the dark parts are. And after much detail, Daniel Sundahl's commissioned and donated works take form. This one will grace the cover of an EMS magazine based out of Nashville, Tennessee. And this was a real shot. This was this is Jay Cavanaugh. Him and I were working uh, a night shift, and this is about four o'clock in the morning. And we had just done call after call after call, really bad calls. You know, I think the reason it resonates so so well with people is that it's it's familiar to all paramedics around the world. I was lucky enough to capture that that emotion in that shot, and that's why I think they wanted to use it for EMS World Magazine next month. They also have an article on. Um, PTSD awareness. Little wonder some of it also graces walls of various national fire halls and emergency services buildings. And I think that's really struck a nerve with first responders because they can relate to that and it allows them if they are suffering from PTSD it allows them to talk about it and, and bring it out in the open and people that aren't familiar with it they can really see like wow I had no idea you guys aren't just ambulance drivers you're you guys really deal with some pretty scary and horrific things. Look for more at www.dansunphotos.com. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.